Hi folks, Steve Hudson here for New Relic. Today I'm going to show you our real user monitoring capability, which is now a core component of New Relic and offered at no additional cost. I'm going to show you how it combines with our existing application performance management features to create an unbeatable tool for doing things like measuring customer satisfaction, monitoring key front-end performance indicators such as page load times, and determining if bottlenecks are located in the front-end, the network, your application, or even the back-end database and third-party systems. Let's get started. The first thing you'll notice with real user monitoring is that it fully integrates with our existing site. That's because we built it from the ground up to be a key component of our app management solution. On the home dashboard, you can see two new columns, end user and page views. This tells me at a glance what my response time is as measured at my user's browsers. Clicking on the end user page time, I'll explore what's going on in a little more detail. Here we're looking at a real-time view of what's happening on our site from the end user perspective. We use a JavaScript injection approach similar to Google Analytics to measure response time from your user's browsers. The end user overview page is the starting point when troubleshooting or exploring your site's performance. The main graph shows total page load time as measured at the browser broken down into segments. You can easily see how time is spent in the web tier, the network fetching the page, and in the browser processing the DOM and rendering the page. We also summarize what's happening from different geographies as you can see from the world map and response time graph at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on the network segment in the graph allows me to explore how network time differs by country. There are various ways I can slice and dice the data. For example, I may want to sort the countries by AppDeck score to see where users are experiencing the worst performance. And by clicking on a country in the table, I can examine in more detail what's going on. Some sites are more regional in nature and we allow you to select a small number of countries for deeper inspection. Here you can see how your app is performing for users located within the U.S. And again, there are various ways of sorting the data for doing deeper analysis. If I want to tune my site or understand what pages are most affecting my response time or app deck score, I can look at web page data. Here I can see what pages are weighing most heavily on my end user response time. Tuning these pages will have the greatest leverage in making my overall site faster. For example, if I want to tune the outliers, I can sort by average page load time. This shows me the slowest pages on my site that have at least 2% of the total throughput. Don't forget that we're looking at an end user view of our site. However, the app tier isn't far away. Notice I have a link called App Server Drill Down. Clicking on it switches me to the app tier which shows me detailed information about what my code is doing. I can even drill into individual slow transactions, allowing me to see exactly what my code is doing. And track problems all the way down to the specific SQL statement or external call that may be slowing things down. With RPM you now have real user monitoring from end to end. In just a few clicks you can go from a high level overview of end user experience down to diagnosing issues at the code level. And remember, real user monitoring was built as a core component of New Relic and is offered at no additional charge. We hope you like it, and happy monitoring.